Hi friends, welcome to this video. Myself Arun Kumar. I work with Cadma Software Cloud. In this video, we are going to see the latest updates in Cadma V5R 2020. In the last video, I show you the latest updates in the part Sketcher Workbench, and in this video, we are going to see the latest updates in the part Design Workbench. So we can see one by one. First one is going to the thickness option. In the thickness toolbar, we got a new option called Propagate Thickness. So if you select a surface. With this is turned on, it will surface will propagate towards the tangent conditions. Wherever tangency is there, it will propagate. If you don't want, you can turn it off. So we can do a multiple selection also. Both sur surface we can apply this option. It is propagate, you get a result like this. If you don't want to propagate, you can turn it off. So give some value for both the size surfaces selected. Give OK. So the result will be like this. If the propagate tool is off. Or else, if you want a smooth transition, you can turn it on like this. So, this is one of the latest updates in KTV5 or 2020. Second thing, what we have is in the shell toolbar. If you go to the shell, so you can see that two new toolbars are there propagate face to remove and propagate other thickness face. So, here we can propagate both the things both faces to remove and the other thickness face. So, I'm selecting this surface. You can see that this will propagate like this. If you don't want, you can turn it off. And the other self, other thickness face also we can control. So I'm selecting this as other thickness face. So here, if you don't want the thick, uh, to propagate, you can turn it off. So this is also another thickness face. Both sides I have turned it off. So here for the surface face to remove, we can propagate, and here it is not propagating. I am giving some value for outside thickness. So six mm or seven mm, we can give. In the other one also just I'm giving some 9 mm so you can think so this will be the final result and this is update in the shell toolbar so I'm just deleting these two things okay now we will see the other update in the edge fillet if you go to the edge fillet so normally when we select this thing so it will propagate like this suppose if you want to stop or limit the fillet we can limit by selecting the plane or a point so now we can simply select this vertices and we can limit this surface so i am selecting this vertices point and select the arrow direction and then go to the preview so if we can change the value you can change the value here go to preview okay. so we will get trimmed here with the Vertices point. So this 2020 option uh, allow you to select the regular planes also to act as a limiting element. So in the same edge fillet, I'm selecting this thing, and I can go here limiting elements and select this normal planes. X by now I'm selected a X is a plane. So with respect to that also we can limit the fillet edge, edge fillet option. This is uh, one of the updates in the. R2020. Another thing I just want to show you is in the uh, edge fillet. So we know that variable fillet option is available. So we select this edge for the variable fillet option. So we may have to create points to uh, give them a variable value. So and here also we can select, simply select this vertices like this. So we can just select this vertices. So I'm just uh, changing this value. Pass value okay let it be 15 here we can change to 10 here i'm again changing to 10 here it's 50 let it be 15 and final last one it will be again 10 so like this so here actually we got a new option called tracks creation so it will extract the edges of the fillet so i'll show you how it works so we have to turn this option on on the total preview, you can see that this will be the variable fillet and give OK. So we can see that in the edge toolbar, two tracks has been formed. This we can use for our further steps. So this we can extract already this got extract and we can use it for the further features. So these are the updates available in the part design workbench for Cat Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day.